Now the historic Norms collection has a beautiful Mardi Gras Indian suit on display as part of a special show on Carnival Time here in New Orleans. It's one of a number of Mardi Gras Indian suits being shown at museums and art shows around the world. And because their suits are now copyrighted as works of art, the Mardi Gras Indians who design them are being compensated for that art. For years, their images were used without their permission or any remuneration. When I meet him that morning, gonna rock a while. I'm a council chief from way down town, Comanche Hunter, one near one by. Let's go get them. Mardi Gras Indians are an important part of the history of New Orleans. Their elaborate suits represent more than just thousands of hours of intricate work. The suits are a way of life, a living history. This is African culture. It's African, yeah. it's African culture and what uh, we went behind the mask. This is why we said masking. We went behind yeah. the mask of the Native American in order to, to practice our African culture and heritage when to try to hold on to our inheritance and our culture in Africa. Big Chief Howard Miller and Big Queen Rokia have been part of this culture for years. I am Choctaw Indian, so I have always been fascinated. Uh, I've been following Indians ever since I was a kid and coming out the Calio Project, it had an Indian tribe there, which I followed and uh, it means a lot to me because not also am I representing the Mardi Gras Indian culture, but I feel a connection because of my ancestors. Big Chief Howard also has ancestors who are Native American and says the Mardi Gras Indian culture goes back to the days of slavery. Some of us was able to run away, run away and find safe haven with the Native American by their culture is similar to our culture in many ways that it, it allowed us to be ourselves because they will paint, paint, we will paint. They will feather, we will feather. They had uh, arrows and spears, we had arrows and spears. So, so from an ugly part of America's history, you get this kind of beauty. Yes. Came, came to see a beauty. Out of so, the ugly, one of the ugly part of our history. So when the masses go on, some people masses come off and we manifest. So you see us in all different types of styles. <laughs> Uptown, downtown, you see a mixture. And all of it is an energy that we're putting into the suits. We're singing, we're chanting, and it is a joyful thing. For years, the Mardi Gras Indians had no legal protection around the use of their image or likeness till the Ella Project, a nonprofit that provides pro bono legal services, was able to copyright their suits as works of art. Chief Howard and Queen Rukia say it's a big game changer for the Mardi Gras Indians. Queen Rukia has some of her suits at a museum in Paris and at several art shows around America. One of Chief Howard's suits is on display at a world-famous art show in Venice, Italy. Another is here at the historic New Orleans collection, and that's just the start. Ella Project co-founder Ashley Keaton. And, you know, once they were designated by the Copyright Office as such, then what that meant is that any, you know, any, any use of their, of their works, of their suits, of these grand... Of oh, their images. Of their images, yes, um, could be subject, was subject to copyright protection. And therefore, we could enforce legal protection um, in their favor. <laughs> And as Big Chief Howard and uh, Big Queen Rokia said, I mean, it was a game changer because a lot of times people would take these magnificent pictures of Mardi Gras Indians. You see them all over for And sale. then they'd sell them for sometimes thousands of dollars. Wow. And they'd get and nothing the from Indians that. Get no profit so from now, them. now that it's all copyrighted, and oh, it's just, it, it really is helping them out. And it is kind of amazing that, I mean, the art is just spectacular. Oh, my goodness. But that yes. art is now being showcased all over the world. As it should be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so unique and so gorgeous. Yeah, uh, it's just really cool. Anyway, and, and it is it was interesting to hear the story of, of how it all came about Definitely. Uh, from the days of slavery. A lot of history there.